It's important to be at the summit to deepen racial identity and to also expand your equity work. And I feel as, as students, we can start at a young age in this work. We don't have to wait until we're adults to have this conversation. Where is the love, the love? For me, it's important to be here to be able to see more people of different ethnicities and races and religions trying to overcome a common goal. Most important is that we got to keep the conversation going. We also have to really begin to think about ourselves as individuals and how we have a stake in the conversation and the work that needs to be done. And I think what's also very central for me is the idea of keeping our youth centered in this process and allowing them to have opportunity and voice. And what if I told you that the work of every stakeholder in education is to create spaces where young folks and adults felt free? Learning that the first step of breaking through that barrier is to free yourself and exercise that freedom to yourself before you decide to try and help others exercise their own freedom. They don't need you to save them. They need you to be a co-constructor of what freedom looks like with them. When the keynote was speaking, I really liked what he said because he wasn't just speaking for himself, he was speaking for all of us. Every student learns differently and so like adjusting your classroom to how they learn and making sure that they are learning about their own history or their own way of learning in your class will, I think, benefits everyone. It's really easy to feel like you're in your own small bubble um, and that you're doing things all on your own and the district can celebrate it, but being able to bring it to such a large group of people like this is really exciting. I have a physical disability and I feel like this summit could like really, really help bring awareness to that too. Can you practice what you preach?